right. Nick, you get the rebound. What's going through your head as you step to the free throw line tonight? Uh, man, just uh, we just been prepared for it. You know, a lot of practice is just like normal to me, for real. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, I mean, you made a big pass as well to find Dre for that open three. You really had a big role down the stretch, and uh, you haven't played as many minutes in previous games. What do you think when Coach was like, hey, big, big time to go out? What do you think? Uh, just, you know, JK and Dre always tell me to stay ready. So, you know, I'm always staying ready on the bench, you know. Even if I don't get big minutes, I'm always cheering them on. And I'm always trusting in them just like they trusted me. Yeah. Did it surprise you that the, the Montana player was flying at you like that and ended up contacting you for the, for the foul? Because here you are, out beyond, <laughs> out, basically out beyond the foul line. <laughs> and, and, he, and he whacks you and you're, you're, all, and you're at the line with the uh, chance to win the thing. I mean, it wasn't really a surprise because I just knew he was flying at me so hard. So my first thought was just get the rebound and shoot as quick as I can sure. to try to get the foul. Sure. I mean, and this is a repeat of Thursday night, basically, too. Yeah. Uh, what did it feel like for you guys watching Nick hit that, that big free throw to, to put you guys ahead in the end there? I knew he was going to hit it. And then we had already discussed uh, missed the second one on purpose just because uh, they didn't have no timeouts and no time to get it up the and floor. Again, and again, the same thing as Thursday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Same thing. And, uh, you know, Nick Nick has been prepared. Uh, you know, honestly, Coach has been on him hard. But uh, I think this is why, because he believes in him. And we all believe in him, too. And he came in, tre tremendous role, executed down the stretch. And we got the dub. We did it together. Dre, Dre speaking truth there? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. John, you talked about how important it was coming into the season to really make a statement. And you want to really... Uh, assert yourself at the top of the conference. What does it feel like for you now having swept Montana to be in this position? Man, it feels good. It feels so good. We just put the big sky on notice. Like, that's a big two statement game. I think that was, what, they number two? Mm -hmm. Number two in the rankings. Yeah. I mean, and we, we beat them two times. That's hard to do. No disrespect, but they're, they're a good team, but we can't be prepared to play. And that's, that's how we want to play this year. We want to put the big scout on notice. You on a script with this game? I mean, here you, here you are doing basically the same thing twice. The only difference was you guys had the lead on Thursday most of the way. And then it was their turn to do the same, to do the same thing. Can you make it any harder on yourselves? We like the challenge. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to keep it there. We, we like the challenge. <laughs> I don't like it. I mean, I don't mind it. It's we, just... we work on situations at practice, so we, we kind of prepare when we get down. No, no one gets too low. No one gets too high. We just keep playing together and we always come back on top. Yes, sir. I do think we are a few plays away here and there from turning those games into 10 point games and that's when we'll become a championship team and mm -hmm. I think that's coming That's coming soon. Okay. Trey, you played your 100th career game tonight in the Thunderbird uniform. Just as you win this game tonight and reflect back on those previous 99, just kind of what are you feeling? <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> My back's starting to go out. You see me got on the bench. I'm yes. doing back stuff. But, uh, Man, it's just been—it's a blessing. I, I love this place. I love the people here. Uh, Coach has given me opportunity since I got here, and I'm just thankful I get to do it with my teammates and uh, coaches that believe in me. Yes, yeah. What do you guys feel like you learned from these two games that you'll take with you for the rest of the season, uh, or even in the next week? Let's just—it's not how you start; it's how you finish. That's right. You're gonna have to play through injuries. Just tough it up and be tough. Just fight through the pain. And play through, and play through crazy runs. Right, yeah. Oh, it's a game of runs. It's a game of runs. So we just, you know, when we make our runs, our runs are just going to be a little bit better than the other teams. Just enough. <laughs> just enough. Just enough. John, can you comment on the dynamic of having to play the same team back-to-back -back on the same weekend? Just kind of what challenges that provided this weekend and what you can do to adjust to that moving forward? In our whole um, world, of course. I mean, it provided challenges because – we knew we had to adjust things on the defensive side that we did Thursday. We couldn't bring out all our defensive things on Thursday because we weren't going to have nothing to show for Saturday. So I think we had to keep a couple of tricks in the bag and then come out Saturday and run some things they never saw before. So that was kind of awesome, a couple of plays that we never ran. I just think it's, it's a good challenge for both sides of the team because you, know, you never know what you're going to get that second game. You're not going to get the same things you got the first game. John, uh seemed like Tavion Jones is taking over for the most part the ball handling duties in the second half. Obviously, you guys all share uh, that responsibility. What does it feel like for you to have maybe on a day where you're battling through injury and things to have a uh, supporting, uh, supporting cast as uh, successful as you have right now? I mean, it feels great. It feels great when you, when you trust a guy to do your job, but he's doing the, 
he doing it good as you, so I mean, you just gotta cheer him on. Next man up. That's how. That's our mentality. Next man up. Always prepared and ready to play. The irony of this is not lost on me that you shot 40 free throws on Thursday and today you only shot 16. Is that is that the kind of is does, is that another surprising cra- bit of craziness about this game? Why were you not getting to the line as much? Um, I mean, the game is just different every time you play it. Uh, you know, the refs go back and watch, and they make adjustments as well as, as we do. So they uh, told us before the game they were going to adjust how they were calling it a little bit, be able, try to be better. And honestly, we, did, we didn't do a great job of attacking the rim tonight. We could do a little bit better of a job, but uh, it's just every game is a, its own game, and we did what we needed to do tonight. Thank, thank you for covering me on the question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Three straight wins against Montana dating back to last season. Uh, we'll let you go ahead and start with an opening statement, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, we, we know it's a game at a time, but, uh, you know, we've as a program, you, you know, you, you build the thing and you you, you go from, uh, you know, some lows and then you kind of start to hope to win and then, you, you know, you're, you want to win. And then you then now I think we're at a stage of our program, we're expecting to win. And uh, that's what great teams do. They believe, you know, we never really felt rattled. You know, stuff wasn't going our way. We weren't playing a good brand of basketball there for a middle 15 minutes or so. And uh, but then we get rattled, and, and it's going to be someone different every time. And sometimes it just takes a little guess and check to see who's going to be uh, that guy today. And luckily, we had three guys really, really step up on the offensive end and carry us. The, the funny thing of that is they, they, they get the run and they're up 13, but you didn't waste time and you, can't, and you put up the 12 0 run yourselves. Yeah. That's kind of a, that kind of a statement? No question. No question. I mean, we're. We're, we're, it's gonna be a punch counter punch. Anytime you play Montana, this is a, this is a very good coach, a very well coached team. They're tough, they're big, they're deep. Uh, have, we have two deep at every position. I mean, they're a very good team, right? And, and it's not easy to beat these type of teams. And uh, you know, luckily guys they made enough plays. I, th- I thought it started when we started giving up our body on these loose balls and flying around and diving on things and and poking away and being a little more active. We got you know we got things to improve on, but. Uh, you know, toughness is a strength of ours, and I think that's going to carry you through some of these games. I mean, the, the mental challenge of, the, of, that, of that final stretch, they get, Tavian, get, Tavian gets the look on the shot, and then the, and then the, the rebound comes off, and, hair, and, all the, and, and then uh, Nick's, at the, Nick's at the foul line. I mean, yep. that kind of a play, flip the script for me. Is it, if, you're, if you're in that role, do you even come anywhere near the shooter, the shooter on that point? Well, I mean, it's so tough. It's a bang-bang play, and... and uh, you know, you're going after the ball, and that's what it is at the end of the games. I mean, guys are going after balls, and, and we, we, we always say we don't want 50-50 balls. We want 100-0. Right. And, <laughs> and, and uh, you know, Nick goes in there, puts his, you know, the average players kind of sit out there and watch it and see mm-hmm. if it goes in. You know, you know, good players go in there, and they put their nose in there and see what happens, and that's what he did. He got, yeah. he got two hands on it. Yeah. We don't go after stuff with one. We do stuff with <laughs> two, and, and that's what leads to you know, real plays. And It's t- teaching that pays off, basically. Yeah, and, he, and he's and he's so happy because you know we're gonna have different guys step up every night, and and uh, you know John Knight's hurt was hurting a little bit today, a little you know just wasn't quite the same uh, gear, uh, and uh, he, which he'll be fine, but you know we, you know so so we go we let Nick go, and he's playing pretty well at the end, and, and he finishes it out for us. I mean it's gonna be somebody different, and that's the beauty of this team. Third time this program has started a, started a Big Sky season two and zero. Oh. What's making this team more special to expand on it a little better? So we're, we're, you know, we've, we've, we've got a lot of improving to do, but we do a lot of things well, and, and we have an identity. Um, the, the truck is kind of full in that sense then. Yeah, like we, 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 we're always going to be exactly what we are. We're going to be scrappy. It's going to be a dog fight. It's going to be physical. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to rebound. You know, we've been an elite rebounding team now for quite a while. We're going we're gonna to do that, and, and when we get rebound, we're going to push and transition and put a lot of pressure on teams. And, uh, you know, and that's, that's what we are. I mean, we're going to try to get them down the floor as much as we can. And uh, we'll get better at that as we continue to improve. Yeah, Coach, uh, obviously Nick Fleming made that free throw to put you ahead. You also made a really key pass to find Dre Marine for that open three. Uh, Dre mentioned that you've been particularly hard on Nick in practice. I think you expect a lot out of him. What did it mean for you to see him perform so well? To do that, to do that. Oh, especially. man, I'm so proud of him. I mean, he is because we know how important he is, you know. And I tell all these guys, I said, I mean, I tell them in the recruiting process, especially at the point guard position, you, you know, if you're coming here to, 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 to you know, pick daisies, you got the, got the wrong coach because I'm going to coach that position hard. I know, I know what that entails and how much that leads 
uh, to winning and, and correlates to winning. And, and uh, he's been a, a, a very good learner. He, he's, he's got an extremely bright future here. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of time. And he's going to continue to get more and more of a role as, as he's uh, excelled in the minutes he's been given. So uh, we got real big things in store for him. Does the iron the irony of the script here from thir- from Thursday to today as similar as the, the stretch was, is that does does that does that surprise you shock you, um, any sense of deja vu? What what, what were you thinking at that? Yeah, that no, especially you know we, at least we led for more than three minutes today. Now that was <laughs> a little bit better, but a lot of that was in the first half, and then we just kind of dug ourselves a hole, you know. And I think there's some good learning lessons. In the, you know, we go 10 possessions without a bucket in the half. You know, we, 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 we were getting open threes, but we got to be mature enough to know, hey, if it's not falling, you got to, you, you need to, we need to go do something else. Just, <laughs> you know, just find a better look, yeah. It's, it's okay if it's, a, if it's a, if good looks don't fall, you got to try something else sometimes. And just because it's a good look doesn't mean it should go up. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, in that second half, we were disciplined enough to know that, okay, Tev's getting going or, or, you know, let's get him a few touches. And guys were... That's a discipline in itself is to make sure that, you know, we keep a hot hand going. Yeah, Coach, uh, you talk about having many players that can go out and win the game for you. Um, and this one, it seemed like Tevion Jones did take the, the brunt of the ball handling towards the end of the game there. He started out the game a little bit slow, so how do you try and uh, predict or keep track of who to lean to in those moments? Yeah, he, he, but we had ultimate faith in these guys. And uh, as we've seen, like, in Tevion's situation, his mental toughness is – has really uh, come a long way in terms of staying not too high, not too low. And, and so if he goes 0 for 6, I get excited. <laughs> and as crazy as that sounds, because I know exactly what he is. And when guys do that, like a 40% three-point shooter, which is what he is, he's going to be at 40, you know? And so if you go 0 for 6, that means the next four are probably going to go in because it, you know, it always finds its level. I, I had noticed something toward the end of the – in the middle of that difficult, the, the difficult stretch, you you, made, you were you were you were discussing a call, and I noticed one of the refs as he was walking away give you a be- look back over at the bench. Did you find yourself worrying a little bit, a little bit? You're trying to push the push the envelope when you're, when you're talking to him at that. Point? Well, you, you know, and some of that is like I tell our guys, let me let me handle all that. Yes. You know, so some of it's you know let let, let me. Make sure the guys know I got their back. I, I'm I'm just wondering because how cold, how close you were to getting a T T. I think at that point I was. I, I, I think I was already apologizing at that point. Quite <laughs> frankly, I think that. Uh, so I think I was already apologizing because you know, but it, you know, it's part of the competition. And and it was and it's an awkward moment for me asking the questions. So. Yeah, no, but it's part of the game. It's part of the game, and and uh, you know, usually like, I got a great respect for the officials in our league. I mean, yeah. it, it, I, like I told them in the game. Officiating Southern Utah versus Montana is an absolute. Uh, I, I mean, it's, it's got to be like a trip to the dentist because we're the two most physical teams in the league, <laughs> and 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 on every play there's physicality and bumps and both hard driving teams and post play and, and offensive rebound. I, I mean, it, it's I gotta give those guys a lot of credit. Rain or shine, I mean, they they come in and they take the brunt and and uh, and do a good. And you, when you watch the film, they they always do a good job. So. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's part of the game, though. It's part of the competitiveness, for sure. Good. Yeah, Coach, they, they went on that 13-0 run at the end of the first half. Um, you responded with the run as your own. What did you tell the guys in the locker room to try and motivate them as you went down? It, well, we, you know, we, in a, in a very polite way, just told them I didn't believe that it was Thunderbird <laughs> basketball there for a while. Mm. You know, and, and I don't care about the 10 possessions on offense that, you know, we weren't really attacking. But, yeah, we weren't getting stops. We weren't. We, we weren't. We were looking a step slow on that side of the floor for that little stretch, because we need we need stops so we can de rebound and we want to push. We're going to push on everything, and if we can't do that, then it's not who we are, and we just got to be who we are. Coach uh, Dre Marine played his 100th game before you tonight. Uh, just a quick comment on him and what he's meant to this program over the last four years. Yeah, just nails, nails solid. I mean, that I mean, is. It's, it's, Every day, Dre, you just kind of know he's going to be solid. He, he he's, doesn't make mistakes on the floor. Uh, he takes care of the ball. He gets you a shot on offense. Uh, he can stretch the floor. You know, four, three. I, I mean, I would. I think he's going to have some games this year where he's going to hit seven or eight threes. I mean, he's shooting at a, such a high clip. He can shoot it deep. Uh, he was aggressive. Um, he's tough as nails. Great rebounder for his size. Um, and, and it's been a spectacular person, you know, a spectacular person, loves this university, you know, uh, loves Cedar City, probably a guy in, 
hopefully uh, maybe 40 years. Let me give a few years, but they, they come back here and play 150 games here, and then come back and be the coach. He's that kind of guy. We, we reserve the right to ask him ask about him again on Senior Day whenever. When yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And then, coach, just a quick look ahead to next Wednesday: Utah Valley and State rival on the road. Uh, just obviously, you guys will take a little bit of time to celebrate this one, but the Wolverines are looming on the horizon. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's, go up, it's go upstairs, circle a few things, watch the film of what we can improve on, and it's UVU. I mean, this, this, is, a, this is a work day for us. You sure. know? Uh, I got my one fist pumped in, and now it's time to turn the page and go. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's uh, part of what we have to do as a program, and, and uh, you know, that's going to be a big game for us. Obviously, it was a barn burner here last year, mm-hmm. and uh, they do a great job. They've reinvented their roster. They're big. They're physical. They're... They got perimeter guys. I mean, they got a bunch of stuff to to be, be feeling good about. So we gotta be ready. Final thought on today: the free throw the free throw attempts were down down by more by more than double, forty to, yeah. to sixteen today. And in the irony of it all, again, here it is another free throw to win. Yeah, it's yeah, it is the, ironic. It was uh, you know, uh, and I and I, and I can appreciate it. You know, I think the uh, I think on both ends on Thursday. Mm-hmm. We were we were really physical on both sides. Both both teams were really physical. You know, it's kind of first game, first league game. You know, there's a lot of bumping and grinding. You don't know. You're trying guessing a little bit on each other's plays. Right. Now it's a little bit more of a predictability. Now you're. I think both teams were able to uh, defend a little cleaner, and uh, and that's kind of what, what leads to it. All right. Thank you.